Hey guys, this is IX Roller IX with Rollout Reviews doing another casual Common Rider Ghost unboxing. This time it's a big one. <laughs> I think this is the biggest thing since the Ghost Driver in the Common Rider Ghost DX line. This is Tokon Boost's signature weapon, the DX Sunglass Slasher. So, Sunglass Slasher, as in one word, it's a slasher, a big fiery sword with uh, a pair of sunglasses strapped to the side. You got the whole eye theme, so uh, yeah, sure, why not? Sunglasses. This also comes with both the Goemon and Ryoma icons. So, uh, just as many icons in this video as there were in my last icon extravaganza. Uh, little embarrassing, but okay, uh, so... Let's just take a look at the box a little bit. You got Goemon and Ryoma on there. I think Goemon looks so cool. Both of these forms use the boost undersuit. Um, and then I believe one more form will, and that is Himiko, which will come out later. Um, I kind of hope they explain why these forms have to use the boost suit and can't use his normal undersuit. Uh, maybe they have at the time of this recording. I am recording these much earlier than when I'm actually going to be uploading them, and by the time this goes up, uh, there will have been a new episode of Ghost that airs uh, right after the hiatus it's on currently, um, after the holiday season. But anyway, <laughs> here here is uh, some of its features. It does have a gun mode, at least, just like the uh, Gan Gun Saber. Not quite as much functionality, which makes this seem like less of an upgrade and, and more of just something completely new um, that, I don't know, it's in a lot of ways does not seem as good as the Gan Gun Saber. I love the Gan Gun Saber so much. It has so much playability. And while this is cool and, and kind of inventive and crazy and stupid in a lot of awesome ways, I don't know. I just don't like it as much, and, and it doesn't have nearly as much functionality, and it's like more expensive, which is kind of disappointing. But anyway, <laughs> no no worries complaining about the price now, because I already have it in hand. I mean, what else am I going to do with it rather than open it and uh, play with it? I knew that uh, there were some things that I wasn't going to be too happy with as far as price and release dates go um, when I signed up for this, when I decided that, hey, I'm going to collect all of the Common Rider Ghost toys. Kind of forsaken myself. What have I done? Anyway, let me go around and bring down the camera so that things will hopefully be a little bit more visible here. All right, then run, run, run back around. And here we are. So the instructions, um, from what I've seen, things are pretty simple. Of course, you have the uh, you know the signature warnings here that all of the weapon toys have. Don't don't hit your friends. Um, pretty big instruction sheet, kind of you know very similar to the drivers and the uh, the other weaponry. Um, but yeah, it has two slots for for icons which activate different sounds. Unfortunately, no icon reader uh, in this, which which would have been cool. Um, if you know you got more functionality from from the icons outside of the ghost driver like if it said the name of the icons that were inside it but alas no no reader in there um Kind of unfortunate seeing as it, it looks like Ghost's next big upgrade, which is Grateful, um, has like a completely new belt and does not seem to use the icons at all. So it would have been nice like if he used this weapon in that form and he could still interact with the icons in some way. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point and if you don't know what I'm talking about then none of it makes any sense. <laughs> so anyway, but actually before I take this out I do want to take a look at the icons themselves first. So wow, this this is a that's very striking uh, going on here is this extremely bright uh, like almost neon yellow it's like the color of like highlighters in person um, not really showing up as as that uh, in uh, in the video here I actually 
don't have the Edison icon handy to compare it with. But um, yeah, it really is like the color of a, a yellow highlighter in person. Um, but anyway, here is Goemon. Uh, Goemon is uh, very, you know, popular in uh, Japanese kabuki shows. It's a kind of feeder. Um, he's sort of a, a Japanese Robin Hood in a lot of ways, where he steals from the rich, gives to the poor kind of thing, as far as I understand, which is interesting because Ghost also has a, a Robin Hood form, but yeah, he's um, in a lot of kabuki stage plays and things, and is the main character of a lot of those stories, or at least uh, uh, some kind of character, um, as far as I understand. So, the face is a little bit... Um, uh, obscure if you don't know that because it, it just is kabuki makeup like that that's what his face is here is just kabuki makeup um and it kind of looks like a whole lot of nothing if you didn't didn't catch that or uh, didn't know the reference but uh yeah there is that um all of the boost related icon icons have uh, a little bit of a different horn here. They have kind of the, the boost horn, and that's how you know that's how it is. Uh, this attack here has like a, a slashing sword and like some coins in the background, which makes sense being kind of like a thief there. Um, it would have been cool to see like the boost uh, only, the boost exclusive icons having like a red iris rather than the uh, just the gray normal uh, iris of all the, uh, the ghost owned icons, but oh well. Um, and then it is number eight here. So there is the first icon in the set. And then of course the second one here is Ryoma, who is some famous Japanese man. <laughs> um, I I've done some research on him and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, he, he did a lot of important things, but um, I don't really understand some of the references involved here. But anyway, uh, Ryoma's faceplate is like a dragon, which is super, super cool. Um, but I, like I said, in my research, I don't really know what the dragon has to do with Ryoma. He kind of uh, uh, overthrew some kind of uh, corrupt regime in feudal Japan and kind of... Uh, kickstarted the modern age, as far as I understand, in in the Nihon. Um, but I, yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about him outside from that. He was an important, you know, businessman and, and leader. But uh, that's as far as I know. A really nice kind of um, kind of gunmetally blue, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like a, a metallic blue color, very similar actually to um, a very certain uh, Lego Technic color, or maybe, you know, some Lego bricks exist uh, in, in that color, but uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you sort of know what I mean. Um, a couple of Lego Technic sets had, had this kind of colored piece, which is, which is sort of cool. Of course, this is number nine, uh, has the gray iris, um, has the face there with the dragon forming the eyes. And then it has kind of a pistol attack here. So this has, you know, two forms, the gun and the sword. Um, and uh, Goemon is kind of for the sword. And uh, Ryoma is sort of for the, uh, the gun, of course. So there are the two icons included. Uh, we'll take a look at those in the driver once I have this out of the package here. Um, very big, <laughs> very, very big, especially, you know, the sunglasses part um, on the hilt here. Um, so let's get all of this out of the way. Uh, it does have a little bit of plastic over the sunglasses themselves to uh, keep them all nice and shiny and not scratched in the package. So that is nice. And, and here's the thing. It's packaged in gun mode here. Um, very bulky uh, in the handle, but uh, I don't know. I kind of expected that. The handle itself has kind of the, the flame effect from the boost icon. It also has a little bit more of like a, a katana um, theme going on here as opposed to the, the Gangun Saber. It converts between two modes, and I think it's rather simple here. And has a, a button up there and you press that and it releases it and then this whole section flips around and lines up with this and now it is in the sword mode so uh, I will open this up get the batteries in uh, do a quick cut there uh, but before we actually turn this on and take a look at the sounds um, I will take a look at the two icons included in the set 
So, batteries are in there. Only two AAAs required for this, it seems. Uh, there aren't any other compartments here uh, up in the top here. As you can see, the, the top section where the LEDs are in the sword itself kind of is one straight line through the glasses themselves here, so I guess they didn't need a separate uh, battery for the LED like on the Gan Gun Saber. But anyway, uh, get that in like that, screw the cover on, like so, and uh, before we take a look at the icons, let's just turn it off for fun. Or turn it on for fun. What? Turn it off? I don't know. Anyway. Where is the speaker? Right in the back here. That's that's unfortunate because that means uh, it's going to be facing away from you in this video most of the time. Oh well. Anyway, setting this off to the side for a moment, let's start by taking a look at Goemon in the Ghost Driver. So, despite it having the boost undersuit, uh, the sounds really aren't any different. It's just as if uh, he would have used this in his normal form anyway. Again, I can't wait to see how that actually works and to see if there's any reasoning for that. That is hilarious to me. <laughs> Goemon! And then the very kabuki music playing in the background. I love it. It's silly and I love it. All right, here is the translation for that jingle there. Uh, it says kabuki. Of course, you heard that pretty clearly. Cheerful disturbances bloom. So, uh, yeah, as I understand, kabuki shows are, are very poetic in a lot of ways, and that kind of kind of fits with that. Um, and, of course, you know, the very Japanese mysterious music there. Um, very good. I really like this. And then, of course, let's do the, uh, the attack, because why not? It's too funny. Very, very nice. But, as I said, there actually aren't a whole lot of differences uh, from the sounds or visually from any of the other icons that uh, aren't with the boost undersuit. Except, of course, for the uh, the horn um, being a slightly different shape in the little pictures there. So, now, let's move on to Ryoma. Kind of sounds like, like lasers in the background there, like a like an X-wing or a Tie Fighter shooting at you or something. Uh, that was weird. Anyway, I really like the uh, the faceplate for Ryoma with the dragon, of course. Pretty cool jingle too. Let's uh, let's find out what that says, because uh, I certainly don't know what this one means. I, I sort of know what the Goemon one meant, uh, just because I really like how Goemon looks, so I, I found out. But uh, Ryoma isn't isn't one of my favorite forms personally, despite how much I like the uh, visual aesthetic of the faceplate. But anyway, Ryoma says, "Awake, Japan, the dawn." So yeah, I guess the dawn of modern Japan, uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> there you go. Again, I don't know too much about Ryoma, but apparently he's important, and apparently he's cool enough to uh, get a Super Bugman form made about him, so uh, there is that. Uh, with a super cool dragon, no less. Uh, anyway, I am going to do one more cut here now that I've shown off the uh, the icons there, and let's actually take a look at the Sunglass Slasher itself. Here we are in a familiar place once again, the Sunglass Slasher. So it has a trigger down here, and uh, by pressing that, in sword mode, 
we have some uh, very fiery slashy sounds and only a single one so uh, that's how that is. In sword mode, uh, here it is compared to the other weapons we've seen. Here is the uh, the Gangun Saber. It's actually a fair bit longer than the Gangun Saber and a fair bit bulkier because of this whole thing uh, there as well. Uh, maybe looks a little bit more silly than the Gangun Saber, but uh, there you go. It also doesn't have the functionality where it can turn into the Naginata form, which of course made the Gangun Saber much more impressive. You're lacking that, but oh well. Uh, here it is next to the uh, Gangun Hand, and it is actually a fair bit shorter than the Gangun Hand. Once again, uh, much, much larger uh, mass-wise, but uh, still uh, not quite as long, which is worth noting. Okay, so now for the, uh, the gun mode here. Again, you press this, flip it around. You do get a confirmation sound. the same between sword and gun mode and then when you flip it around like this uh, that's kind of kind of what it looks like as a gun I think this is super weird looking just because it's got the blade sticking off here which is uh, actually a very soft rubbery translucent plastic all up in this section so that's worth noting um, I guess that's the barrel there it doesn't look all that great either because it has uh, the um, screw holes as well um, and then the LED is is up here I don't know if you saw that in sword mode but again it's got a very fiery uh, shot there but the LED is up here which does look kind of strange in this mode because it kind of just goes up and then ends but I guess this could be considered like a sight um, or something like that but anyway I like that little, like, very subtle, fiery sound at the end as the, the, the burst is trailing off. I like that. That's pretty good. Um, and that's really all, all this does on its own without any icons. But of course, icons are included. So, uh, by pressing this here, I think, it allows you to flip... Alright. <laughs> it allows you to flip the, uh, the glasses themselves up. Oh wait, actually, no, this is this is not related to the glasses at all. You can do this on your own. I'm sorry, I was mistaken there. That is what uh, comes from this being my uh, first experience with the toy as well. <laughs> uh, you're learning with me. Anyway, uh, flip those up. And, um... Kind of makes a clickety confirmation sound, and then when you bring it down... Makes like a shining sound. So that's nice. That's all that does. When this is open, doesn't do anything differently. But if we insert two icons in there, uh, Ryoma is still in the Ghost Driver. Let me fetch that. There we go. All right. So let's uh, put Goemon in the front here. Ooh, that's not how that goes. Um, it slides in like that. Um, it actually is stopped at the start. Uh, it really feels like you're you're sort of slotting some kind of ancient <laughs> an ancient artifact like into a slot to open a door or something. Very kind of like national treasure to me in that way. Uh, anyway, I wasn't expecting it to do this, but when like the moment you put two icons in there. It starts talking at you. So this is saying Mabushi, which I believe means bright or dazzling. There you go. <laughs> uh, plays for a few seconds. It kind of has a, a kind of a nice drum tone to it. Also worth noting is uh, you can kind of still see the uh, the QR codes through these holes in the back here. I think these uh, holes here are there so that you can push the icons through um, once once you release them. And that's what this button is for, I think. What you push them past is uh, this little blockade here, which by pressing this um, releases. So, sort of press that and then push them out from the back. Like that, and then they, they'll, they'll just fall out. Um, same thing on uh, the other side here. 
I'm just pushing my finger through the other side. But let's uh, actually put them back in like that. And again, that's very satisfying. All right, now we're back here. And then by closing this, Oh, that is nice. Very, uh, what's the word? Very, almost like island, uh, Hawaiian in a way, I don't know. Almost James Bondy too, which is kind of nice. Which I guess fits with the whole sunglasses theme. Um, and then, by pressing the trigger here, There is Omega Flash, which of course fits with the uh, the bright theme here. Also, something I didn't point out, you will notice on one of the eyes here, there's this little circle, um, and then it has like a flame effect around it, which is sort of difficult to see in my lighting setup. Um, and then this one here um, is, is completely clear, but as you can see, when you bring the light down, it sort of activates uh, the icon a little bit. It, it pushes that button and uh, flips the switch. Now, that's mostly so it can activate the sounds for the boost icon, but um, it, it does do it for normal icons, which is kind of unfortunate because it doesn't actually switch it all the way. I think the boost icons button is a little bit uh, sh shorter, or at least doesn't uh, require to be pushed in as far as these do to activate the sounds. So you have this uh, kind of slightly off icon in there that's between two of its settings. Then by lifting this up, of course, it uh, switches it back over. This icon over here actually isn't switched at all. There's nothing pressing that button over there, but as you can see, it does switch this icon here. And that, of course, activates the attack again. I really like that. Again, that, that it's actually much more James Bond than kind of like a Hawaiian Samba, almost. That's, that's I think that's what I was looking for, like a Samba. Anyway. I think it's maybe like the, the Islander Hawaiian Samba too because it's sunglasses. Those are very, you know, sunny tropical areas. Tropical is another uh, word I could have used. Anyway, um, let's switch it over to the gun mode. Or sword mode, rather. I'm sorry for that. Um, and then activate it once again. And there is Omega Shine. Once again, uh, very, uh, you know, uh, fitting for the sunglasses theme. Um, so that's nice. That's pretty much all it does on its own. Um, it doesn't really matter which normal icons you put in there. Um, and to uh, demonstrate that, I have the Benke icon here handy, because uh, I did that video here um, not too long ago. But anyway, open this up. Again, press this and you can take the icon out. Um, let's, uh, let's pull both of these out. And let's actually take the Ryoma icon, if I can get it out here. Um, if, it, if it doesn't go out completely straight, it could get stuck, so that's worth noting. But anyway, put that in here. And then put the uh, Benke icon in there. This jingle is not any different in sword mode than it is in gun mode. And any two normal icons in there will result in the exact same sounds. So, that is basically all it does on its own. But, if you have the boost icon, there is a little bit more functionality. So, let me get uh, these out of the way. 
And uh, judging by the pictures, um, he uses the self icon and the boost icon at the same time. So I'm assuming he does this when he's in either Goemon or Ryoma form because he doesn't actually have the boost or the self icon in his driver at this point. But anyway, uh, let's put the Ore, self Ore, whatever you want to call it, icon in there. Love that. That's so good. <laughs> and then uh, there's actually a button up here in the corner that I just noticed that a normal icon will not hit. And I can't really push it in there. I think it needs to push this and whatever button an icon normally hits in there to activate a sound. But the uh, extended little flame bits actually hit that in here. So putting the boost icon in this slot, uh, you cannot actually fit it in this slot because um, they're actually little spaces cut out for those flames that uh, aren't here. But anyway, slotting that in, if I can get it. Again, it needs to kind of be just right, um, and it definitely helps to uh, press this button here uh, to help it in. So, it makes a slightly different uh, jingle sound. It's Mega Mabushi, which uh, is a little bit of a pun. I'm actually going to turn this off. It's a, it's a little bit of a pun because uh, uh, ma Mabushi means like, uh, you know, dazzling or very bright. Mega Mabushi, mega, you know, the word mega can be considered like super or big. So it's, it's mega bright. It's very bright. But mega in and of itself is a Japanese pun because mega means eyes. So, mega and mabushi, mabushi, like I said, bright, dazzling, it can either be very bright or it can be taken to mean dazzling eyes, which again makes sense with the, uh, with the whole sunglasses theme. Anyway, let's turn this back on and do that again. Just sort of annoying as I'm talking, that going off constantly, but anyway. Sunglasses, Sunglasha! Anyway, let's pull that out and push it back in. Nope. No, that's not what we wanted. That is not, not a thing. Try it again. There we go. Mabushi or ma Marushi? I don't know. I'll have it in text on here if I, I was pronouncing that wrong. But anyway. Now, as you can see, it is lighting up in there. So this side's fiery because of the printed effect. This side's fiery because of the lit up icon in there. And then it does, says Tokon, uh, uh, Tokon attack, so fighting spirit attack, of course. And it has the uh, added little sound effect there. Anyway. So then you have Mega Omega Shine. A little redundant, but uh, still kind of cool. And then uh, the lights in there flicker um, in tandem with the, the swords lights, which is also very cool. Then of course you have sort of the same deal with the gun mode here. So flip it around into gun mode and then Tokon Dai Kaigan. Makes it a little bit more epic, I think. And then Mega Omega Flash. I actually don't know if the sound effect at the end there is any different. I feel like it had a little bit extra going on, uh, but that could have been a sound effect from the boost icon itself. I can't be entirely sure. Um, but really, sadly, uh, that is all the Sunglass Slasher does. Like, that is just about it. It's easier to do this than turn it off, I think. And it's more fun this way, too. Anyway, yeah, that is it. Um, as far as I know, there isn't uh, any kind of 
eye contact or anything, uh, which would have been neat to implement, but maybe this is, you know, like too far away from any kind of sensor that could be involved there. Um, it sacrifices kind of the functionality that the GAN gun saber had before for actually interacting with the icons themselves, and unfortunately not very well, because it doesn't read them. Um, the only one it reads in any capacity is the boost icon, and I guess this is the weapon for all the boost forms, so that's only to be expected. But it is sad, because the Gan Gun Saber had more forms, more sounds, could combine with more things, and it was less expensive. Uh, this cannot interact with the... Uh, with the gadgets at all, there's no eye contact or anything like that, um, so little disappointing. It's still very cool, um, I still like its design despite its silliness, I love the sounds, and I love, uh, you know, how it interacts with the boost icon itself as well, but I don't know, it's just, it's not quite as good. I, as the Gan Gun Saber, at least, but that that really is a high high bar to meet. Um, I do think this is better than uh, the the Gan Gun Hand. I think it you know has a little bit more play about playability, a little bit more uh, functionality um, than that did. Even still, um, despite not having as much as the uh, the Gan Gun uh, Saber. But, um, yeah, just not quite as good as Ghost's last weapon. Uh, but, for a last shot here, I'll just have the uh, Ryoma and Goemon icons here, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Once again, very cool, just sort of disappointing in some ways. Although, a lot of satisfying sounds, a lot of satisfying interactions with the icons. Um, I really love, like, slotting the eyes in uh, into the sword itself. So that is a definite plus. And it looks pretty cool, especially in sword mode. Gun mode, eh, it's okay, but the sword mode especially looks awesome. Um, so, yeah, that is about it, guys. And this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.